Hello guys, welcome back. You are watching my channel, my English magazine. Today I explain to you the rules of tenses. What is the rule? First of all, I explain to you tenses can be divided into three parts. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Tenses can further be divided into subparts. And these subparts include simple, continuous, perfect or perfect to continuous. In this article, we shall uh, discuss a detail about the tenses. Now, I explain to you present tense. What is the present tense? Present tense can be defined as an expression for an activity that is currently in action or is habitually performed. Means, uh, present tense can be defined as an expression for an activity expression for an activity uh, that is currently in action or is habitually performed it is used for a state that generally exists or is currently ongoing simple present tense rule subject is mr and object now I explain to you with the singular we use S and S, S and ES. When our subject is singular then we use S and ES with the verb. And plural when our subject is plural uh, there is no change uh, with the verb first. First form of the verb. Example, uh, first of all I give the structure about the simple present rule subject plus v1 plus s and es plus object i give the example the girl sings a song here the subject is girl singular and s has been added to the verb sing followed by the object song with plural rule subject plus V1, yani first form of the verb and object. Example, the girl sing a song. Here the subject is girl. Plural, girls is plural. Plural and uh, no change have been made with V1. First form of the verb. Present continuous tense. Present continuous tense rule subject plus is MR plus v1 plus ing plus object now example she is eating food here the subject is she followed by is the first form of the verb v1 here is eat and ing has been added to it followed by the object food present continuous tense rule subject plus is plus v1 plus ing plus object now i give the example she is eating food perfect present perfect here is the rule with singular when the subject is singular we use a has v third plus object example he has cleaned the utensils here he is the subject plus has cleaned is the third form of the verb and utensils is the object now plural rule subject plus have plus v third plus object example they have cleaned the utensils here they is the subject plus have we use the have with the plural is the third form plus is the third form of the verb utensils is the object so our example is they is the 
सब्जेक्ट सो दे हैव क्लीन्ड द यूटेंसिल्स दे हैव क्लीन्ड द यूटेंसिल्स एंड ही हैज क्लीन्ड द यूटेंसिल्स परफेक्ट प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस सिंगुलर रूल सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज बीन प्लस विवन प्लस आई एन जी प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लूरल रूल सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैव बीन प्लस विवन प्लस आई एन जी प्लस सब्जेक्ट एग्जाम्पल शी हैज बीन प्रैक्टाइजिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग हेयर शी इज अ सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज बीन फॉलोड बाय आई एन जी एडिड टू द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्क प्रैक्टाइज एंड देन द ऑब्जेक्ट एग्जाम्पल दे हैव बीन प्रैक्टाइजिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग हेयर दे इज अ सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैव बीन फॉलोड बाय आई एन जी एडिड टू द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्क प्रैक्टाइज एंड देन द ऑब्जेक्ट गिव इन बिलो आर ए फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स दैट मे हेल्प यू differentiate between the four such parts of present tense raj speaks german simple present for singular raj speaks german they speak german simple present for plural she is speaking german present continuous he has learned german present perfect for singular they have learned german present perfect for plural she has been learning german present perfect continuous for singular they have been learning german present perfect continuous for plural now i explain to you some another past tense any event or action that took place in the past can be referred to as the past tense below we have discussed simple past rule subject plus v2 plus object for example he ran away here the subject is he and ran is the second form of the verb v2 of run followed by the object he ran away now past continuous singular and plural rule subject plus was plus v1 plus ing plus object plural rule subject were v1 plus ing plus subject for example she was going shopping here the subject is she was it is followed by the first form of the fo- first form of the verb v1 go plus ing and then the object shopping now for example they were going shopping here the subject is they which is plural they plus were followed by the first form of the verb we one go plus ing and then the object shopping past perfect tense rule subject plus had plus verb third plus object for example sumit had left the job here the subject is sumit plus had then left which is the third form of the verb we third leave is given followed by the object past perfect continuous past perfect continuous tense rule subject plus had been plus v1 plus ing plus object 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे हैड बीन प्रीपेयरिंग फॉर देयर परफॉर्मेंस फॉर टू मंथ्स हेयर द सब्जेक्ट इज दे प्लस हैड बीन इट इज फॉलोड बाय प्रीपेयरिंग विच इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब वी वन ऑफ प्रीपेयर एंड देन द ऑब्जेक्ट टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड पास टेंस एंड द फॉर्म इवन बेटर गिवन बिलो आर इफ यू एग्जाम्पल्स आई प्लेड फुटबॉल यस्टरडे सिंपल पास्ट I was playing football yesterday past continuous for singular they were playing football yesterday past continuous for plural they had played football yesterday past perfect they had been playing football the entire yesterday past perfect continuous tense given below are a few articles to clearly so now i explain to you the next that is a future tense future tense yes future tense the action that are to take place in the future fall in the category of the future tense we have discussed now simple future simple future tense rule subject plus will shall be one plus subject for example i will visit my uncle tomorrow here the subject is i plus will it is followed by the first form of the verb v1 visit and then the object future continuous future continuous tense rule subject plus will be shall be plus v1 plus ing object for example i shall be going to the market tomorrow in the example the subject is i plus shall be followed it is the first form of the verb v1 go plus ing and then the object future perfect rule subject plus will have shall have plus we third plus object for example i shall have prepared the notes by tomorrow morning in the example the subject is i plus shall have it is followed by prepared which is third form of verb we third prepare and then the object future perfect continuous rule subject plus will have been plus v third plus v1 plus ing plus object for example she will have been working here since 2015 here the subject is she will have it is followed by the first form of the verb work plus ing and then the object she will go to school tomorrow simple future she will be going to school tomorrow future continuous she will have gone to school tomorrow future perfect she will have been going to school tomorrow future perfect continuous so guys i discuss all the kinds of tenses yes the main you know that present past and future and i also explain the sub parts also so you are watching my channel my english magazine this is very knowledge giving magazine here i discuss uh, to all of you the whole grammar of english and gk questions political science so thank you guys you are watching my channel on youtube my english magazine my name is sangeeta mehta and you are watching my channel my english magazine i am also on twitter blogger facebook and google so
थैंक यू गाइस थैंक यू वेरी मच